ingredient that is used for making century eggs. I know what it is. What is that? <laughs> pee. <laughs> pee. Pee pee. Tapioca milk tea or bubble tea or boba. Boba are made from sea cucumber. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, in the news, this has been described as the, the worst food in the world. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Wang and welcome to Jason's Table, Shocked and Surprised. Today we have a special guest and uh, Pedro. Yes, welcome. my name is Pedro. Also known by my artist name, it's uh, the naked intellectual sculpture, Greek sculpture, God's body, Pedro. Pedro, yeah. nice to meet you. Hi, welcome, Lana. Hi, nice Jason. to meet you. I'm nice Jason. To meet nice to meet you. Todd. Hey well, guys. So, What's up? I'm Jason. Nice Hi, to meet nice you. Hi. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks Good to meet you. Today's topic is black foods in Taiwan. What I mean by black? Black colored. Today's game is the food is going to come to the table. There are three items. Mm -hmm. We're going to taste test it first. Okay. And then we're going to give you two options. Which one of those ingredients is what is actually in the uh, dish? I'm excited. Got it. All right. So let's, let's go it. on to our first dish of the day. All right, Pedro, let's see what's inside. Three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> oh, whoa. Why is it so dark? What do you think is the ingredient in this soup? Is it oh. this or, or is it this? So what makes this soup black? Is it squid, cuttlefish, calamari, or is it um, chicken? Why don't you take a taste? It looks like some kind of soup. Uh, please go first. Mm, delicious slurping. Mm. Does it have any alcohol inside? Or? Um, yes, there's definitely, when you're cooking this type of chicken soup, you need to put in some alcohol like mijo, rice yeah. wine. Rice wine. Um, but again, the combination of the herbs and then all the flavors in there, it's a delicious, delicious soup. Mm. Um, just yummy. I would say it's almost like a root of some sort. Okay, so there's some kind of herbal components yeah, in definitely. there. Right. So what makes this soup black? Is it squid, cuttlefish, calamari, mm. or is it um, chicken? I didn't taste any fishy flavor here, and by my experience in Taiwan, I would say it's the black chicken, wuku ji. So it's a better combination with this soup. I would say by the color that it has to be the chicken. So uh, are you correct? The chicken! <laughs> Yeah! Woo -hoo. Yes! It's a oh. chicken! Okay. <laughs> What's the question? I know what it is. You know what it is? Yeah, it's black chicken soup. So you've had this before? Yeah. Wow! I know that in Taiwan this thing is, uh, you eat it for wedding. There's some tradition when you have this kind of soup, you will have very uh, wealthy and healthy oh, life, wow. right? Yeah, so um, she's spot on. She already knows what this is. So this is the uh, black silky yeah, chicken, chicken soup. soup. Silky chicken, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit strange looking. It's not been painted, but this is the way it is. It's a traditional uh, soup base used for this herbal soup. Super good for nourishing mm -hmm. the body and especially uh, for folks who have post-pregnancy. Oh. Uh, for kind of um, restoring the body, but uh, okay. this is called ugu ji. Oh. Ugu ji, so silky chicken. Oh, okay. okay so okay. you've got uh, the first one correct. Now, if you get everything correct, then uh, we'll give you a prize. Okay. Uh, if you get them wrong, then we have a little bit of a punishment, a food-related punishment. Uh oh. Uh, but okay, so good job. Okay. One for three so far, and right. let's try the next one. All right, let's do it. Item number two. Surprise! Well, not surprise, I know it. I oh! Love this. I love it. Century egg, or a hundred year old egg, or pitan. I think it's very interesting just because of the color. And then uh, if we just pick this up here, uh, it's a little surprising. If somebody told you this was an egg, wouldn't you say, I think it's rotten, right? Or yeah. spoiled? Uh, but it's just a very unique food product and it's made with duck eggs. So uh, can I cut this in half and you'll try a little bit? Okay. Kind of like Ooh. a. Not At the any... beginning, when you, well, as a foreigner, when you just arrived in Taiwan, you think 
this is rotten, they, they are sick. But when you eat it, you realize like the aftertaste, whoa, you fell in love okay. with it and then you miss it. Because I think it's kind of like French cheeses a little bit. Sometimes mm -hmm. the smell's really strong, but when you eat it, all right. Cheers. Chin Let's chin. enjoy. Okay, salud. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> Honest reaction. Honest reaction. Honest reaction. It's very special. <laughs> very special. Wow, you just went right in mm -hmm. there. That's how I eat. Okay. It tastes a little bit rotten. Okay. Like, it's delicious, but rotten. Okay. It's kind of like... So deliciously rotten? Yeah. It's hard to explain that. Well, I think the best way to explain is maybe like some pungent French cheeses maybe. Like has maybe a, a little, little bit, bit fermented. Of, a little fermented, mm -hmm. a little funk in there. Uh, but there is a delicious component. Oh yeah, it's great. Okay. Yeah, it's so great. Uh, is this something that you would eat or want to order or maybe on occasion or I don't need to eat this anymore? Uh, I occasionally would like to order this. Oh. Actually, I occasionally do order it. Oh, you do? Yeah, whenever I see it at a, at a restaurant, I will get it. Okay. Especially when it comes with the uh, the tofu there. Okay, so moral of the story, just because it looks scary doesn't mean it's not Try good. It Try it out. Mm. But the question for you today is, what is the ingredient that is used in the process for making century eggs, or pitan? All right, is it horse urine? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. What is that? <laughs> What is that? It's a pee. <laughs> pee! Pee pee? Can uh, I drink it? Can I try it? Uh, I don't know that you want to no? drink that. No, okay, maybe not then. Horse urine, okay, or is yeah. it? Quick lime, lime powder. I think that's what I use to clean my kitchen. I think you could clean your kitchen with it too. <laughs> so, uh, what makes pee dan so special? And in the process, is it horse urine? Mm. Or is it? quick lime. If it was quick lime, it wouldn't be so special. It wouldn't be so, wow, exotic and making people from abroad wanted to try mm -hmm. this, wow, century egg. So, urine, horse urine. Okay. Of course, even if you see the color, you won't feel like they use this to make it. Okay. So I still, I know so it's- So what's your guess? Yeah, it is this one. <laughs> well, I think if anything, if it were ever used with the horse urine, it's probably not used that way anymore because people okay. might have a, weird okay. reaction to it. So I would guess that it's the quick lime, at least now. Quick so quick lime, final answer. Yeah. Okay, is he correct? Ding! Yes. Is Pedro correct? No! Really? Wah, wah. Really? Okay, is she correct? No! No? No, 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 no. So actually, it's an old wives' tale that people think that it's made with this, but it's actually, there's no horses involved in making a pea den. So it's a combination of quick lime and also ash, and then there's also wheat hulls, but they pack it around the duck egg, and over time it changes the chemical composition, so it kind of cooks the egg on the inside without any heat. So that's how you make century eggs. So, so uh, two out of three, and let's go on to our third food item. Let's do it. Now on to our third black colored food. Mm -hmm. This one you may have seen before. Of course. Right? On, so this is a specialty of Taiwan. It is what? Zhenzhou nai cha. Zhenzhou nai cha. Tapioca milk tea right. or bubble tea bubble or boba. Tea. Um, lots of different names for this. I love this drink so much that I would skip meals just to drink an extra bubble tea. When I arrived to Taiwan straight, really? I went to get it. Yeah. And I'm just going to mix you up a drink as we talk about this. So this is the straw, so you can... The you tapioca. Salud. Salud. Mmm. Oh. Oh. You know, I really love the mouth feel with this. Like the, the, the sweetness of the drink, plus the bubble tea, and you're drinking and chewing at the same mm -hmm. time. The first time I did that, it was kind of weird. Because mm -hmm. I was like, what do I do? Do I drink yep. it down? Do I chew it? But after that, it just, oh, it was great. It's a wonderful sensory experience. You get the chewiness of the tapioca and there's this little sweetness in there. Sometimes they use uh, black sugar in there, black sugar mm -hmm. syrup, but the tea has a little bit of milkiness and also the backbone of the tea flavor. This is, yeah, it's delicious. It's mm, delicious. It's very good. Very so, uh, question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, for the boba, what is the ingredient that is used to make boba? Is it option one, cassava root, or is it option two, 
Thank you, Gumber. <laughs> is it animal? Is it an animal or is it a fruit or veg? Oh I don't know. You tell me. What do you think that is? I feel like some, something died here. Something. Uh, it's sea cucumber. I would say that, especially for vegetarians, they wouldn't put this kind of thing into a, okay, that's smart. a bubble okay. tea mix if okay. most people are drinking it, so I would guess the root. The root. Yeah. So, uh, cassava root? Yeah. It made from cassava. It made, it made from a special tapioca stretch. Starch? Oh, okay. Starch. That's what you use to make tenzu. So, final choice? Yeah. Cassava or sea cucumber? Cassava. Is he correct? Yes! <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yes, he's correct. Is Pedro correct? Yes! Ding, ding, ding. Vamos, ding, ding. vamos. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. So, in fact, boba or tapioca pearls are made from cassava root. And cassava is called tapioca as well, but this is ground up and then they take the starch, mm. form them into the pearls, and because uh, of the color, they use black sugar in there when they make it, and that's what gives us this black color. But who would have thought to make these out of a cassava root? Um, boba tea, uh, boba actually refers, do you know po ba? Do you know what that refers to actually? What is it? Po ba actually means, Large oh. chest. Yeah, oh, okay. because uh, uh, in Hong Kong originally there was a reference to a famous person and like, yeah, so boba means that, but it's called bubbles or. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> it's not that kind of show, Pedro. So you got two out of three. She got two out of three. She's gotten all three of our. Challenge is correct, and because of that, he wins a prize. Something sweet to go with your bubble tea. Thank okay. you. I love this. <laughs> bubble nice tea time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, Todd, right. thank you for joining us today thank you for having in me. this edition of Black Foods, and uh, we will see you next time for Jason's Table, Shocked and Surprised. Bye. Bye. See ya. For more information, check out the website and don't forget to download the Taiwan Plus app and like and subscribe our YouTube channel so you can stay updated on the latest news and developments.